How was your summer? Hot? Me too. When I moved to the Alps 10 years ago, August was so cold, I lit the fire every night. Now it's so warm, I can eat outside every night. Hurricane Harvey shows us our environment is changing, but is it just influencing us, or are we influencing it? When clients ask me to help them and their teams develop groundbreaking innovation, they tell me to focus on the environment, the structure, the processes and the business model. I disagree. The environment just reflects the people in it. People create the structure, processes and business model, not some machine. If I had a choice between changing the environment or people's mindset within that environment, I would always choose the mindset. Over 10 years ago, I helped one of the most innovative NGOs in Geneva develop and communicate its vision. It had a groundbreaking structure, business model and environment. And then it hired people from the organizations that didn't have an innovative mindset. They brought their previous behaviors with them. Now the environment is so toxic that I'm coaching one of their leaders out of it. People influence their environment as much as the environment influences them. In their groundbreaking book, Biocentrism, scientists Robert Lanz and Bob Berman point out a flaw in the scientific tradition by scientifically proving that man cannot observe anything without influencing it. And the same is true from my experiences painting in extreme locations all over the world. As strange as it may sound, it is not the environment that influences me. I influence the environment. Not the I of the ego, not the I of the personality, not the egotistical individual inside me. But when I go into that space deep inside me, when I go into my essence and I create from there, as all great artists, business people and sports people do, if they want to create a breakthrough or something that changes the environment, then from that space, we genuinely can influence all that is around us. When I woke up, it was raining and the cloud was low. It threatened to rain and the wind threatened to blow the canvas over. It didn't. And that's the wild Atlantic way on the west coast of Ireland, notorious for its bad weather. Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther King and Nelson Mandela demonstrated an idea could overcome conflict, the greatest threat to humanity in the 20th century. An idea, something you can't touch, is more powerful than force, something you can. Everything originates inside us and then manifests outside us in our environment. Maybe this is the insight to overcome climate change, the greatest threat to humanity in the 21st century. You've been watching The Creative Leadership Show. Join me again next time when we'll explore another idea to see how we can transform the future.